There's this guy we know. He used to live out in the sticks. And um, he lived in a shack. And like, it was made out of straw. And all he had was a bed and a pillow. But he was like surrounded by a jungle. So that's where he got his food and that. And um, yeah, one day he walked out for a walk in the jungle to like get a meal. And um, this beam of light came down and hit him and he was abducted by aliens. And like, he got, he was put back and he had like bruises everywhere, he'd been bashed and everything. And he like, all he could remember was just, you know, being bashed and stuff like that. And they'd stolen his shack. Were you guys in the control room listening to this? Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys in the control room listening to the interview? Why? How do you get this story exactly the way? Exactly. What? <laughs> what? They got the mics pumped up in there? No. no. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> That's true. I know. True story. Know. Um, now back to the serious stuff. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Because oh, one of our friends used to live no, in a no, straw no. shack. Oh, you've got me <laughs> no, honestly, do you, when you think about it, like, do you believe in it or not really? Like, yeah. Do you say it full sentence. Mm -hmm. I believe in aliens. Because one of our friends, he's... Yeah. Freak shows in the 40s. He used to, like, travel around from city to city and everyone used to just look at him and think they were really weird and just perceive them as being different just because they look strange. And same with being in a band, you travel around and everyone just looks at you and thinks you're really strange and... We just thought it's a good theme for an album. We're not into the whole rock star crap thing that a lot of bands seem to get tied up in. <clears throat> We're just people and playing a rock band and then go home and eat food. Um, what are some of the newest slang words you've heard? I don't know. Um. Rad. So can you give us a hint what's going to be the best song on the new album? Um, no, I don't know. What is the latest pinch on? Just, we just decided to do it because we like ACD, so. What'd you do? You, you pierced your eyebrow? Do yeah. you mind showing us with a well? Oh yeah. Wait, was it painful? Um, no, not really. Oh, it was for a second. Yeah, it was, was alright. It's not anymore. So it's not like a signaling that you're gonna turn into Metallica or anything? Like yeah, we're gonna turn into Metallica. There's a lot of people say, oh, are you trying to be Nirvana? Because we're a three-piece and I've got blonde hair and stuff like that. And I'd say, it's just because the hair is that long and I'm trying to grow, but it won't grow. So I'm just gonna keep trying to grow it and if it doesn't grow, I'll just shave my head and be a punk. No, we really want to. A lot of our friends went and saw him. Can you just say that in a full sentence? Oh, say we that? really want to see Sex Pistols. A lot of our friends went and saw them and said they were really good. We did a warm-up show in Newcastle about... Sorry, do you want to say do that once again? Okay. Um, we did a warm-up show in Newcastle. We don't go to parties. We sit at home, watch telly, eat food. We were, doing, we were test driving a car for... Um, this magazine and we were supposed to just drive it in the car park but it was boring so we saw the beach and it looked inviting so we drove on it and got in trouble. And that was with Dave Navarro? Um, yes. There was a, there, there, was there a day in jail? I, I heard no. a couple, no. I just went there and these policemen looked at me and made me scared <laughs> and then I went, <laughs> Daniel, how is it to be New York? It's cold and dirty and, but, you know, it's cool. Do you have anything else more to say? Hi, Mum. We don't really get very much attention. Oh, come on, Daniel, just give me a break. What's up with your eye, Daniel? I keep, like, I've got itchy, like, under my eyes and mm. my ribs. I think it's because I had a really hot shower. You know, and you have a hot shit, and you get like that. I don't know if you do, but I... <laughs> You're sitting in here like a caged animal. What are you doing, Daniel? Um, nothing. Just being caged. Okay. 
Yeah, I had no idea anyone was coming, so I was just sitting here by myself with my sunglasses on. No, uh, he, he's lying. He knew we were coming in. <laughs> this probably is all Hey, hey. Wait. Oh, sorry. Attention. Uh, thanks for doing this. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I've only been pregnant once, so I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're definitely a sex object. Um, I'm just joking. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne's God. Yeah, I have a hard time adjusting sometimes when people approach me on the street or whatever. They just stand there like, hi. I'm like, hi. And they expect me to, to you know, start a conversation. I don't know anything about them. They think because they know everything You're about me. That, the yeah, I usually ask about the weather. <laughs> Okay, I'll say you're watching yeah. Smackdown. And what was the name again? Donna. See, Donna. you fucking never come to a compromise, you mom. You ready? Fuck up. Go for it. Hang on, what have I got to say? Yeah, what Do you think they can handle their success at such young ages? No, nah, they're way too young to be um, getting that kind of success, I think. It's going to kind of be bad for them in the long run. They're going to regret it when they're older. But yeah, they should just enjoy it. And is that what you tell yourself, Daniel? No. I just thought I'd say it because that's what everyone tells us. I am in the dark.